Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll be going over one of our brand new features for version 114, which is the ability to merge and link tickets. First, let's go over the difference between merging and linking. Merging is when you combine two or more tickets. All of the threads from each ticket will now belong to one parent ticket. Linking doesn't affect ticket threads. It's just a simple way to relate two or more tickets so that you can easily navigate between them. Let's look at how to use these. First, your help desk must have a role with permission to merge or link tickets. Go to your admin panel, go to agents, and then roles. Click one of your roles and set the permissions for merge and link. Now you should make sure that you have an agent that's assigned that role. So my role is all access. And as you can see, this agent has the all access role for two departments. Now, when you go to the tickets queue, you'll be able to see the merge and link options. The option will also be available to use within a ticket. Before we get to merging and linking tickets, let's configure our queue so that it's easier to see which tickets are merged or linked. Go back to the admin panel. Go to settings, tickets, and then queues. I'll configure the open open queue. Let's choose a column to put a merge and link annotation. I'll put mine on the ticket column. Go to annotations. And here you can see there's an option for linked icon and merged icon. I'm going to put both of these at the end. Now we're ready to start merging and linking tickets. Head back to the tickets queue. It's important to know that once tickets have been merged, you cannot unmerge them since all of the thread entries are moved to the parent ticket. Let's go ahead and do our first merge. The ticket that's in top on the list will be the parent ticket. Any tickets below the parent will be children tickets and their thread entries will be merged into the parent. Once tickets are merged, you'll only see the parent ticket in the queue. As you can see right here, there's an indicator to let you know that this is the parent ticket. You can see any of the related tickets in this tab right here. Here's the thread entry from the child ticket. And if you hover over this merged icon, you can see the ticket number. You're also able to easily navigate to your child ticket using this thread event. Here you see a child merge indicator right here. And you can go back to the parent right here, or you can click on the thread event. 
You might notice on the child ticket that it says it does not allow replies on this ticket. Anything that comes into a child ticket will automatically be routed to the parent ticket. Let's take a look at how this works. First, we'll take a look at the client portal. Here is the parent ticket that we just merged. If you click on the child ticket, you'll notice that the user is not allowed to reply. And there's an easy way for them to get back to the parent by clicking this link or this link. As the user, let's send an email to this child ticket. Now when we refresh the parent ticket, we should see the response that was sent to the child ticket has actually been looped to the parent. Here it is. When a user replies to a child ticket, you're still able to see the merged icon that tells you which ticket they actually replied to. You can also merge a ticket from within a ticket. You go to this cogwheel and click Merge Tickets and type the number of the ticket that you want. Save changes. And there you have it. You may have noticed there are several other options to choose from when merging tickets. The first is the participants option. If you are merging tickets that have different users or collaborators, you can choose to move them to the parent tickets as collaborators. Notice the user is listed right here. In this example, we have two different users. As you can see, a collaborator was added to this ticket. Now let's look at an example where a child has collaborators that we want to move over. This icon right here shows you that the ticket has collaborators, and if you hover over, it'll show you which collaborators are on the ticket. So for this example, I want these collaborators on the child to be merged into this parent ticket right here. Here, we see that both of these users were added as collaborators to the parent ticket. For tickets with collaborators and different users, you may choose to only move the user and not the collaborators. You'll just need to change the participants option. 
choose user only and save your changes. As you can see, only the user was moved as a collaborator. Next, let's look at transferring tasks in Emerge. If a child ticket had tasks, you can choose to move those tasks to the parent ticket. Here's the ticket we want to be the child, and you can see that it has one task. You just need to check this box right here. Also notice that this right here indicates that the ticket has a task. Now when we go to our parent ticket, you can see that the task was added to the parent. Finally, you should know that if you're merging tickets that are from two different departments, the parent ticket will be referred to the child tickets department so that agents will still have access to the thread they were previously a part of. Here's the referral thread event, and you can also take a look at the referrals from here. You might also choose to delete children tickets when merging. This would result in having only the parent ticket remaining in the help desk. All children tickets would be deleted. The parent ticket would not show that it is a merge ticket since the children were deleted, but you can still see the merge indicators to show which thread entries belong to child tickets. You should also note that if any of the deleted children tickets had tasks, those would automatically transfer to the parent. You can see here that this ticket has a task and we need to choose this right here to delete the child ticket. Now, when we look at the parent, we can see that this was the one that was merged into it. Here's an indicator. And we can also see the task was moved. Finally, let's take a look at the different types of merges. Combining threads displays each thread entry in the order they were created, regardless of which ticket it was on. Separating threads displays thread entries one ticket at a time. Let's do an example where we combine thread entries. Make sure that combine is checked. As you can see, each entry is sorted by the order in which it came in. 
regardless of whether the entry was made on the parent ticket or the child. Now, let's change the merge type of this ticket and see what the threads look like separated. The thread entries are now displaying one ticket at a time. Now that we've gone over merging tickets, let's look at how linking tickets works. Like merging, you can link tickets from the tickets queue or within a ticket. Once linked, there are indicators to show which ticket is the parent or child. You also have a related tickets tab, as well as start events to let you know which tickets were linked. If you want, you can switch which ticket is the parent by changing the order of linked tickets. Now we see that this ticket is the child. Unlike merging, you can unlink tickets. Just click the trash can and save changes. Now our ticket is back to normal and you can see that the tickets were unlinked. To easily find out which tickets have been merged or linked, you can do an advanced search. This shows you every merge ticket, whether it is a parent or a child. You can also see that if you hover over the indicator, it tells you if it was a combined merge or a separated one. And here is the advanced search for link. I don't have any, I just deleted them. <laughs> the last thing I'd like to share about this feature is some of the rules we have for merging and linking. You cannot merge tickets if more than one ticket is apparent. Tickets that are merged cannot be linked. Finally, agents cannot merge or link tickets that are in a department they do not have the merge or link role for. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. To get all of the latest OS Ticket news, check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching.